Honey, come watch this with me. Right. Have things to do. And what do you want to show us? I want to show you this couple on YouTube. They've been stuck in Vegas for almost a month. They're getting their RV repaired, but I think that they're about to hit the road. Okay. It's called like the, I don't know, the motorhome journey or the motorhome dream or the motorhome experience. No, this is the motorhome experiment. So this couple, they're trying to get to this, I don't know, this RV thing in Florida, but they've just been stuck. But I think like this is their last night and they've said something about going to see some Christmas stuff with friends. Okay. pins and needles do they get the coach fixed do they get back on the road this is getting so exciting good morning everybody it is monday november 25th and we are up early and rolling over to the finley rv service center it's i don't know seven o'clock in the morning today's the day we get our gas tank installed and hopefully jack installed so that we can get on the road at the very very worst we think it's going to be one extra day ozzy's in his cage so he's not happy yeah no not happy at all but uh we're gonna head over to finley rv now so let's do this RV has dropped off. We're gonna come back to an old, old favorite. Gotta go into the cracked egg. One of our old breakfast spots. Yeah, this will be one of our last, hopefully this is our last breakfast before we leave, but we don't know yet. Man, that breakfast place looks pretty cool. I wonder if they have vegetarian pancakes. They may want to go there, actually. They're not called vegetarian pancakes. Are they really vegetarian? We have been hanging out with our friends, the Hamptons, today, uh, doing some stuff at their house, getting some laundry yeah. done and stuff like that, waiting on our coach. As you can see laundry, yeah. some storage things that we need to get rid of all here. Yeah, we emptied out our storage and stuff as well, so. But we have something in Las Vegas, but we were going to have, like, two boxes and a few things. That we're starting with the that Hamptons is true. because they have right. storage as well. The Hamptons are allowing us to store there because they're absolutely amazing people. But we just got a phone call that says our coach is ready today, Monday, November 25th. It's ready. So we're going over there to pick it up now. They close at 4.30, but they said that we could pick it up by 5. We are on the other side of town. We're going now. So the, the uh, idea is to go as fast as we can possibly go without getting a ticket. Without getting pulled over without getting pulled over we can get pulled over we just can't get a ticket well no i'm just saying the ticket is not what my concern is it's more about the time the that time takes yeah to get pulled over okay so don't get pulled over don't get a ticket yes all right got it Woohoo! we are standing in a repaired coach and i hear Lori calling me i think maybe not all right it was just the voices in my head We've got old Freya back here and we're ready to hit the road. We are gonna spend, we are gonna spend one more night here and then, then we'll hit the road in the morning. We'll do friends with our, uh, dinner with our friends at Hamptons tonight and then, uh, and then we'll get out on the road. So, pretty cool. 
epic fail. Well, the stuff that needed to be fixed got fixed, but a big the butt. front right jack is now out because the other jack wasn't on. the The other jacks spin constantly, went into error mode, and it took out the front right jack now. But it's technically doesn't really have anything to do with the accident, so we're gonna have to get another jack. Yeah, having our charities here. So, we're just gonna cry in our beer and go hang out with the Hamptons, have dinner. Cry oh. our beer, you said? Cry in our beer, it's just a saying. Uh, cry my Dr. Pepper, cry in your vodka. I don't know, we're going out for dinner. Ah, oh, bummer, they should have checked that other Jack. I, I think at this point they should just get on the road. No, I think they should wait. Good morning, everybody. This is it. Good morning. We're leaving Las Vegas. I think there was a movie called Leaving Las Vegas. This isn't that movie. Almost, uh, well, a little over a month we've been here and we've got our gas tank repaired. We've got our jack repaired. There are some other issues, but we'll talk about that in uh, just a little bit. Right now we're gonna head down the road. We gotta do a quick few stops before we head out. Costco, stuff like that. We're not gonna film any of that. And we'll talk to you guys on the other side. Ready? I'm ready. Let's ready but not ready. Sad to leave our friends. Yeah. But ready to move on. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So let's do this. We have finally got on the road. It is official. We are heading east towards so Florida. So excited. And what you see in front of the way is Lake Mead. That is Lake Mead. We are just passing Boulder City on the new bypass. I will say our problems are not completely over. The repairs are not perfect. We are still having a leveling jack issue, but we needed to get on the road and get down the road. Put on some miles. We've been in Vegas for over a month. We're feeling stuck like we're gathering moss. Well, in a week we have been in Vegas. So, but time to move on. Yeah. Time to have some fun. It is official Tuesday, November 26th. TME is heading east, and we're probably not going to record too much of this today, so we'll catch you guys in the morning. Man, they put in some miles. I've never seen them drive at night before. I wonder how far they got. Woo! Yeah. Rolling out of Wild Horse Pass Casino after some flat topping last night. I didn't sleep really well. How about you? I didn't. No, this is always loud here. We've stayed here before. It's always loud usually because of trucks last night it was because the rv next to us decided to run their generator all night long and we talked about this in our pet peeves video if you have to run your generator all night long this isn't the place for you you need to go plug in somewhere if you have a medical device or something like that uh are you ranting i'm ranting a little bit you can kill somebody like if if their their generator was pointing right into the side of us we could have technically went to sleep last night and not waking up it's not it's not a joke i'm not joking carbon monoxide poisoning you should never ever sleep with your generator on unless you've got the windows open the problem is you might have your windows open but the folks next to you don't and these things leak and you know bad things can happen so if you have to run your generator for 24 hours because you have a device that you have to run, you need to go to a campground and plug in. You can't park next to other RVers that 
that uh, might wind up having, I mean, you can make them really sick. So that's uh, something that you have to think about when you're doing that sort of thing. The trucks are also super loud, so that doesn't help. So it was one of those one of those nights. We wanted to go cracker docking, but uh, the cracker barrel was full, so we swung down here. But down the road we go. We may or may not hit El Paso today. I'm gonna try, but we're gonna stop and see an old friend in Tucson before we head down that way. So let's do this. Oh, I just wanted to, you know, throw the drone up there a little bit this morning too. I want to show you that this casino also has a motorsports park over on the far side. There's also the Rawhide Western Park and they have, uh, it's like a an old west town and things that uh, you can go visit. They've got a saloon and restaurant and stuff like that. So you can see all that from up on the, the drone shot. But it's an absolutely beautiful morning here in Arizona and we're rolling I-10 East. So let's do it. Wow, the rain really came down in that video. I wonder if they made it to El Paso. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We are in Benson, Arizona. And as you can see, we're in our PJs. Yeah. Because we need to get driving. Yeah. It's, it's just a, a mileage day. Today is Thanksgiving, so happy Thanksgiving, or actually probably happy belated Thanksgiving. When you see this, we are at Walmart National Park here in Benson. And uh, yeah, we're going to be celebrating Thanksgiving on our way to El Paso to see our families and then celebrate with our families tonight. And of course, Thanksgiving is the holiday that we all look for, where the Easter Bunny brings us Easter eggs. No, it's the holiday where all the presidents were born. Of course, Thanksgiving is that time of the year where we give thanks for the harvest of the previous year. Of course, most of us don't ever experience that anymore, but you should give thanks to the food that is plentiful in our country anyways. and and that makes what makes this place so amazing is all the stuff that's available to us so yes we give thanks for that kind of stuff and give thanks for having good friends and family and things around and uh, we, we give grateful. thanks for you yeah we should be grateful every day but today especially it's kind of like it's a reminder of being grateful for right. this time you have in your life absolutely absolutely and it should even be the small things just be grateful for the small things and if you can be grateful for the small things every day it makes it worthwhile waking up mm -hmm. With that being said, I'm going to stop rambling. We're going to get down the road. You ready? You put some miles on. <laughs> uh, I guess I better not uh, not spill my coffee while we're driving down the road. I am so glad this couple finally made it to El Paso. I bet their families were really happy to see them for Thanksgiving. The girl seems really cool. The guy, I don't know. <laughs> I like the guy. Do you? I do. All right. Kind of goofy, but I kind of like him. <laughs> well, I think this is where they'll probably end this video because they made it to El Paso. I'm sure we'll find out more in another episode. We should probably uh, hang out with them a little bit, maybe get to know them a little bit. And that means we have to do what? We should subscribe. We should subscribe yeah. to the channel. And I'm going to hit that little bell button. Yeah, the it. notifications yeah. thing. Make sure yeah. that you hit that. So let's let's do that, and then we'll catch up in the next episode. Okay. That was awesome. <laughs>